Sister Audrey is going to take over and she's going to share with us what they have been doing in Ghana, their economy project. Over to you, my beautiful sister Audrey, our national think tank coordinator from Ghana. Over to you, dear. Thank you, sister Lucy. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. We want to thank God for the opportunity he's given us to share what he has helped us to do in Ghana, in the ecosphere. GTA Ghana was commissioned in May. Proud to that, we're directed by the African Mammoth to start praying for the various gates alongside with other West African nations. Ghana chose to pray according to the watches from 6 p.m. Sunday to 6 p.m. Monday. So dates that assignment is still ongoing in Ghana. Even though prayers were ongoing, we had little information on what to do till we were commissioned and the GTA mandate was communicated to us. With the formation of the spheres with leaders, each sphere chose a day in the week to meet and to pray. Additionally, all the gates met on one day. We still meet on one day to evaluate the work we have done, to share ideas and to teach and also to pray into projects. We also read the prophetic word again and again as instructed. So as we went on to read the prophetic word, God continued to open our eyes to exactly what he wants us to do and what part we have to play in the GTA agenda. The Lord directed us by asking us to read Hosea 4, 6. And I paraphrase, it says that, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. And so he asked us to go and seek knowledge through training in all the spheres. So we did that, that we started the training on all the spheres of society. After that, we raised an altar for Ghana for work to begin in Ghana. When we raised the altar, God asked us to embark on economic development, community development projects. And our first project we embarked on was with the ECHO and belief system embarked on um, the ECHO and the belief system partnered with one of our sisters who was already operating a microfinance business in Dodowa. She was already working there. So we partnered with her as the Lord led us to embark on the project. This Dodowa project, that is how this Dodowa project was built. And so I want to show you where Dodowa is in Ghana. Dodowa is a district capital of Sha Osudoku district, which is situated in Greater Accra, the southwestern part of Ghana. Southwestern part of Ghana. Dodoa is a place that is influenced by the seven pillars of society, but poverty is on the increase despite the good location of the city. The women are involved in small scale businesses and farming. Most children drop out of school because of so many challenges the people have in that place. Single parenthood is also on the increase. Financial difficulties confront the people resulting in 
many further challenges. Some of the challenges are emotional problems for the women and also the children and behavioral attitudes. You would, when after the, 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 the workshop, we interacted with some of the ladies and you would find that some of the ladies had, um, um, their children had abuse issues and also um, rebellious attitudes. Why did we go to Dodowa? The Lord led us to Dodowa to empower the women in the community to transform their mindsets and also to improve their livelihoods and influence their society as a whole. Our objective was to train the women to improve on, their, on a better financial management and to build a sound and a godly foundation for their families. The first workshop was done by the Economic Gates and Belief System. They were partners. The team that we took was Adrian Paneye. It is our local language, meaning transforming your mind, Romans 12. Two. More than 60 non wailing women attended. Some were Muslims. The project is partnering with Dominus Microfinance, like already, I've already mentioned, one of our sister's business. Some of the areas we discussed under financial management was bookkeeping at a basic level. We thought we asked those who were literate to try to keep simple books so that at any particular time they will be, they'll be able to account for whatever they had worked for. We also asked them to develop a culture of book record keeping. We also asked them to keep a daily diary of activity for sales cash sales, and also credit sales. Normally, the women in the market, they just add anything. They just put everything together. At the, at the end of the day, they are not able to account for anything because they use most of the monies to do other things like paying school fees, paying rent, and any domestic activity that they had. We also ask them to develop a culture of demanding supporting documents for transactions as evidence, receipts, invoices, etc. And then we ask them to develop a culture of transaction, transacting business through Momo. Mobile money in Ghana, we have something we call the mobile money system. It's an electronic system where Anytime somebody pays you money, you can find it on the electronic um, board and it's easy to um, record, to find all the recordings of the cash in and the cash out transactions you have done for the week or for the month. By God's grace, out of this workshop, wailing women were raised. The first wailing men do the work were raised. We thank God for what he helped us to do. We also did an altar call for the women in the meeting. After evaluating the first projects, there was need to educate a new group on biblical principles and parenting. And so we did a follow-up on the 13th of December, 2022, the talk was biblical parenting, which was led by Mrs. Monica Tribi, our own Mama Monica. She emphasized the role of parents and children in the home, how to impact the home positively, modesty in character and in dressing. That meeting was well taken in. And we thank God for that. 
in the follow-up project, the second part was a demonstration on how to prepare fruit juice and give it a better storage. The Dodoma land is good and used for fruit cultivation such as mango, pineapple, watermelon, banana, etc. It's a very fertile land. So with the knowledge we gave them, we encouraged them to process their fruits during the major harvest season. What is our way forward? Our way forward is to follow up and support the Dodoa Wailing Women to stand strong in prayer to intercede for the Dodoa land and Ghana. Also to reach out to the children with the gospel through the schools. Dodoa is, uh, has about so many public schools and um, they have so many public schools and private schools. So we, we, we have decided to try to help the children but we had a training on the unstoppable child. So we have decided to try to help the children by going to the schools to speak to them on a particular day and also at the end of the day to disciple them. More biblical empowerment activities also for the women so that they will be spiritually and financially sound. That is the way forward assignments. What were some of the unexpected blessings we had? Our very big challenge was, where were we going to meet? I just want to say that God, Anytime God gives assignments, he gives provision. And from the mandate, he kept saying to us, the resources are already there. The people are already there. Go ahead. He said, I do not want to have, have co um, commitment. I do not want to, I want you to push full. I do not want to, you to push in a half measure. And so we just trusted God. When we got there, there was this church that gave us our premises, his, their premises for free to do our workshops there. And then we have been able to also get a parcel of land where we have put a container, which we'll use for our meetings, the wedding women meetings, and also any other meetings when we happen to go there. The Muslims are so encouraged and they were so impacted. They want more prayer. Our desire is that all these women, as we pray, God will bring them on board. They will be harvested for Jesus. Acknowledgements. What can we say? But for God, it would not have been possible. God Almighty has been very merciful to us. He's been gracious to us. It is his help. We have depended on him all the way and he has helped us to do this project. We give him all the praise and all the glory. We also want to thank our international mamas for the obedience. Indeed, the obedience has brought us this far. I want to say, Father, thank you for our mamas. 25 years of obedience, discipline. God bless them. I want to thank God for the GTA global leadership. Mama Ruth, our Mama Ruth and her leadership. Mama Ruth has been very, very supportive. She will call us and encourage us. She would, she would say, go on, go on, go on. You're doing well, go on. Mama Ruth, God bless you for the encouragement and the support you have given us throughout. I want to say to the Wailing Women Ghana and the GTA Ghana, 
the William Mangana, the team spirit, the support. Oh my God. Our mama in Ghana, my Betty, has always, she had never, she never misses any meeting. And anything we do, we make sure that we consult her as to how to do it, when to do it. And she's there with us, praying with us, seeking God's mind concerning us. We say, thank you, winning men Ghana. Thank you, GTA Ghana for the teamwork. I want to also appreciate our partners, the Dominus Microcredit Enterprise. We say, God bless you for all that you provided and for even going ahead to enter Dodowa for us to come. We know that's the doing of the Lord. Dodowa is ripe for discipleship. It's ripe for harvest, for evangelism. We want to thank God for Ghana Education Service. We have one of our sisters who works with Ghana Education Service. And she has told us that any time, any day, we want to go to any school, we just need to write a letter. And she said that all the schools in Ghana are open to us. Anytime we can come there and speak to the children, counsel or whatever God leads us to do in the schools. We say, thank God for the gates of education. My sisters, I want to thank you for these opportunities that you gave us to share what Ghana is doing with, in, in the economic gates and with the belief system. Thank you. Oh, our Lord and our God, we just want to bless you today. We want to appreciate you for your presence here today. We want to thank you for your daughters, oh God, that you have used today, oh God Almighty, our sisters in Ghana. We want to thank you, oh God Almighty, for the economic team in Ghana. We want to thank you, oh Lord, for the lives of your children. Thank you for Sister Audrey that you have used to make this presentation today. Daddy, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because this is your dream and it is marvelous in our sight. Father, we give you praise, oh God Almighty, for their lives, oh God Almighty. We thank you, Lord, because from glory, Glory to glory, you will take your children from grace to grace, from strength to strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you, O oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for this presentation today, O oh God. Father, we are grateful, O oh God Almighty, that we thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you for the collaboration, the unity. Father, we thank you for removing all those challenges on the part of your children. 